Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another YouTube video. I haven't posted in four weeks, but finally the Honda Rancher is finally fixed. So let's slap on the helmet and I'll kind of explain what happened. Switch over to the GoPro. All right, boys. I feel like I haven't posted in 10 years, but it's only been about four weeks. And the reason for that is the Honda has been broken. Have you not seen in my last video? I'll pop it up on the screen right here. Oh, he just broke the Honda. <laughs> and I wasn't even meaning to. Jesus. Of me basically stripping out the left rear hub and destroying the axle. So, we were only in one more drive in the rear. Obviously wearing dry pocket apparel. I'll put my code here on the screen. You guys are gonna get 20% off of, I think, everything on the website. But anyways, before I get into what happened to the Honda and why it was down for four and a half weeks, if you guys can do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload. While the Honda has been down for the last four weeks, I have been pumped or trying to film some fishing videos and we may or may not have a new project for the channel. You guys may have seen a little peek of it in the intro. Oh my god. <laughs> god, this main trail is, I mean, full of mud. German first gear because I know this thing comes down. <laughs> God damn. I'm not trying to get real muddy today. Unless I want to scent it. You can see me doing. But like I was saying, with the new project coming to the channel, it is actually. A project we've had in the backyard for a while now and I really haven't touched it because it's just a frame right now um, I am planning on putting the abandoned go-karts motor in this frame to make our fooler actually and who knows we may put it on tires wheels some snorkels maybe now it, it is only a 150 CC so it's not really too big but we can go ahead and tune the carb and put a sprocket on it so I can get some more low end torque out of it but God it is it is bumpy out here. Jesus I need to come out here with like a with a plow or something and like smooth all this down because Jesus Christ and he's 20. And these 28s don't help with this Honda suspension, so. But anyways, I'm gonna get into what happened to the Honda and how I fixed it and why it was down for so long. So it was just a normal day of me riding around talking to you guys, just like this video right here, actually. But the day before, we were, I mean, fully sanding this thing through these mud holes over here. And la the night before, I was checking my wheel bearings, and they were not feeling too hot. They were all wobbly and shaky and pretty much blown to pieces. But I still came out here and sent it for you guys. Anyways, we were coming through this hole. I mean, full speed, just red line, sending it. And I was about right, actually my tire marks are still there, right there, right here. And I was trying to reverse. Uh oh. And I couldn't reverse, and that's not really too bad of mud. I mean, it's about 
a foot deep, but it's not too bad, and usually I can reverse out of it so easily. But I felt the rear end kind of going do 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 do. I was like, what the, f what in the hell is going on? So I look at my left wheel. So and it's not spinning while I'm like pretty much full throttle, and this wheel is. Hit one wheel drive. Shit. So I'm like, oh shit. So I hop off the Honda. That tire and that tire, that tire's working, that tire's not. And I see it's only in one wheel drive. So I pretty much just call my dad and he just tows me home with the Polaris Ranger. And we basically just took off that wheel and that spacer and saw the hub was like pretty much destroyed. So I ordered a new hub and a new brake drum casing because that thing was pretty much destroyed too. I'll pop up the pictures right here. Yeah, I'm still sending it without a brake drum cover. So all that dust and mud and stuff is all my rear brake drum, which I don't use because if you guys can't tell, I don't have any rear brakes because it's, you know, a Honda. So... It doesn't really matter to me, but all that dirt and mud is coming in in the rear diff and on the axle. So that's not too good. But oh well. It'll live because it's a Honda. But I'm telling you, the swamp is flooded. Like, absolutely, like, here deep flooded in the main hole. So some swamp content is definitely coming soon. But I need to do something with this right rear wheel because if you guys can't tell, I'm pretty sure it's just my tire pressure, but I'll do a wheelie so you guys can see that it pulls me to the right so much in a wheelie. I'm going so far right. So hopefully it's just my tire pressure. It could be a bearing, but well, let's just hope for the best and say it's not a bearing, which I have two new bearings to put in on each side, but I just haven't yet. Let's roll back to the house and I'll show you guys the swamp and show you how flooded it is. Maybe y'all will get a sneak peek of the new project. It's full throttle. Woo that's for that motor sounds good in that snorkel. Woo The Honda's cooking. Alright, so we're rolling up to the house and uh, I'll show you guys the swamp and show you really a perspective of how deep it is. So for this full send hole right here, this whole strip. I will pop in a clip right here of me full sending it right here. And yeah, man, I'm excited to have the Honda back. The water is a little chilly, but that's okay. But yeah, how water is pretty chilly. So might have to wear some waders, but definitely 100% there's gonna be some swamp content coming soon. I know you guys love those videos because you guys have been absolutely killing them with views and likes. But anyway, that's going to conclude this video and if you want to see me fully send this Honda Rancher into my swamp, click on this video right here. I will also put it in the description. I just came out with some merch actually. So 
if you guys want to pick up a shirt we have shirts we have stickers and I think we're coming out with key tags soon so if you guys want to pick up some merch for me um, it would support the channel and it would help me out and film some more videos for you guys if you are watching this still please hit that subscribe button I'm about to show you a brand new project If you made it this far in the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications to, mo to not miss an upload about the go-kart, the brand new project, or the Honda Ranger. But as always, keep on sending it and kick it in the outro. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.